Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Lagoon. In the last episode, we got Giles back to Atland. We got the key to open Samson's chamber in the gold cave. And we had to jump over earthquakes and stand in front of Samson and not behind him to hit him in the knee without getting crushed to death. Yeah, I did a very horrible job explaining how to beat the boss, and it was one of those things where I was showing it rather than explaining it. But I hope you guys figured it out just from me being an idiot. After we beat Samson, we continued on, but the cave entrance to the elf field caved in, and now we cannot return to Atland, and we had to go north to the village of Bolo, where we now stand. Let's start getting some information from people, starting with the guy across from the entrance. This guy tells you about Philip's castle. We're gonna have to go here in order to continue the storyline. He tells you of the legend that every 1,000 years when sunlight hits the castle, it's put to sleep for one year. There are three tablets with a spell that can break the sleep, and they are scattered around the village. Sadly, if anything is inside the castle, it too is put to sleep, and it cannot move. And there are some people trapped in there. Thankfully, this man knows the spell and teaches it to you, and he also knows where the tablets are. One is hidden on the plane, Another is hidden on the castle site. And he also says that the man in blue had the last tablet. It's this guy we saw just before the end. We're going to talk to him last. And we can't go in here. We can't talk to other people, though. What is used to be? Well, I found a typo in the game. That's something. And of course there are demons. Of course there'd be demons. Most of these guys will tell you about Phyllis Castle and nothing really interesting or informative about it. Well, I guess kinda informative, but not really info that you can really make use of. This guy, however, does tell you about Princess Felicia. Since her name is in all caps, we will have to remember her name for later. She disappeared from the castle, which has since been controlled by demons ever since. Also, touching the fire does not hurt you. That's interesting. Oh, there's this kid here. This guy tells you about Zara. And judging by this guy's, this kid's description of the guy, smell of black magic and that he scared him, I have the feeling he's going to be an antagonist later on, especially since his name is in all caps anyway. Also, yeah, this music is an example of what I mentioned last episode, where some of the music does loop. This one loops every couple of seconds, and it's just really, really annoying. There is an armor shop here, but sadly there is nothing you can do even after you're done with the with the uh, Phillips Castle quest. So sadly, you can't buy anything in the armor shop. Also, everyone here is an elf, but you probably already figured that out. There is an item shop or a weapon shop. And here's a healing pot. We already got one. If you try to buy another one, it won't let you do it. You can only have one of any item at any given time. And here's a shiny ball again. And this is why I told you to buy one at Atland before you fought Samson and continued on. Because it's going to take a while to get 10,000 gold. And since this thing doesn't really come as much use, it really didn't to me, it's kind of pointless. It could work in a pinch, but I never had a... Uh, I never had a uh, situation where I had to use one. And there's the elixir. We're going to have to save up for one. We still need 242 more to go. 
Remember what I said about the healing pot? Completely replenishing your HP? It doesn't. I did my research after the second video and turns out it only replenishes a little. Elixir is the one item that completely replenishes it. So I'm going to have to fight around and get some more money in order to get that elixir. I will be buying it. Also, this woman will tell you about the shiny ball, but I already told you about it in the last episode. Let's see, is there anything else? Well, this guy explains why there are people in Philip's castle and got trapped. Turns out the modder was money and they were trying to figure out what was going on there. They must have thought it was from Philip's castle or something. So we're going to have to save those people, sadly. And that is the mayor's house. The house with the two campfires in front of it. This guy will ask you to save the people trapped in Philip's castle. Well, we're going to have to. We don't have a choice. So press A to accept. And he'll give you the movable mantle. Once you use the movable mantle on these people, they'll be able to move again. It looks like a cape. I don't know why they call it a mantle. Maybe somebody else out there knows. The mayor will also give you the Earth Staff, your first staff of the game. He tells you that there are some places where you can't use magic. Those places are called boss battles. Yet another thing I don't like about the game, you can't use magic against bosses. And there is the Earth Staff. The first staff of the game and the one that lets you use the weakest spells. But the weakest spells are still very useful. So let's go to the magic menu in the pause menu. And we can just equip these like we equipped armor and weapons. Just press right. And we have our only spell so far, which is the fireball. If you use magic, press the R button. I believe that for about 3 MP, we can use a fireball. I'll have to check once I go back into the elf field. But you will shoot a fireball if you have both the Earth Staff and the Fire Crystal equipped and you press the R button on the Super Nintendo controller. There will be other staffs. There will be other crystals. Different combinations of staffs and Crystals will give you different spells, obviously. They're all going to be offensive. There are no healing spells in the game. And this person will tell you that there is a spooky-looking woman wandering around the castle. And that there may be a connection between the princess's disappearance and this woman. Also, you can't do anything with this pool of water. And I believe we're as far up and left as we can go. We can't talk to this guy, though. Did we talk to this guy already? Yeah, we did talk to this guy already. Okay. I'm gonna look around here and see if there's anybody else to talk to. I doubt that there is. I don't think there is. Did we talk to you? Yeah, she told us about the shiny ball, so yeah, she did. Alright. We're going to have to talk to the guy in the blue. This is Thor. I'm guessing that because he has a picture on the left side of the screen, that we're going to be seeing him later on. As a matter of fact, we saw him in the intro of the game all the way back in the beginning of this Let's Play. And he tells you that he does have one of the tablets. And he wants to help you look for one of them. And he introduces, introduces himself and says that we can, they can, you, and I, you and I can be good friends. He gives you the Tablet of Faith. This is how you get one of them. You have to talk to him to get the Faith Tablet. 
and he tells you where could it be. Well, we haven't been the Phillips Castle yet. Spoiler alert, we're gonna have to go someplace else. Oh, wait, you... I forgot how this worked. I'm an idiot. Once you talk to him, and you leave back into the elf field, he actually follows you around. Kinda. You can use this time to take down the enemies, and these enemies, well, they're nothing we can't handle now. There we go. Oh, good lord. I want to keep t Thor on screen here. Also, we got a ton of slowdown here. I'm not liking any of this one bit. Uh, get away from me, please. There we go. There we go. Huh. Yeah, and it is 3 MP to shoot a fireball. Anyway, he goes through this tree, whether you keep him on screen or not. And, oh boy. There we go. And we're a little further away towards level 7 here. I'm gonna kill this guy real quick. There we go. That was annoying. And when he stops, you want to talk to him, and you'll get the Tablet of Wish. And he says, let's find another one. I don't even know what he's doing here, because I know where the other one is. Can you not kill me, please? Anyway, as you can see, my MP is replenishing as I'm using the fireball. It will make quick work of these enemies, especially the uh, beetle slash spider ones, whatever they are. I just call them spiders because I just look at them and I'm, I'm like, oh, spiders. And apparently this guy still follows me. I've never found the Tablet of Wish first and then found the other one. I always went to the one at Phillips Castle first and then... went with Thor. Anyway, you want to go further to the right, and then when you see that rock formation up north, that's when you want to go for, to further to the right until you find an opening going up. This takes you to Phillips Castle. And I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Okay. Thankfully, the path leading to Phillips Castle is linear. And I'd rather have Thor here so I can like, save my game now. Because, if I remember correctly, you have to jump here with the A button. If you walk off the edge of this broken bridge, you will fall down. And if you fall, you will die. It's not like Legend of Zelda where you fall down you get placed back at the bridge. No, it is instant death. And you have to continue from where you last saved. So let's try this. Yeah, he won't be able to follow us, but... Nothing we can't deal with. And from here, you want to go to the left. There is an area where you can leap, and I'm going to take advantage of it. Here's a chest. Inside is the Tablet of Hope, which is the third and last tablet that we need. Now we have. Now we are all set. And is he still there? He better still be there. I'm going to go ahead and save. All right. Thankfully, he got out of the way when I jumped over that gap. I would have been very unhappy with myself if he didn't, because I've never done it this way. I've done it the other way around only. 
When anyway, you can now talk to Thor now, and he'll tell you that we can take the tablets to the old man. And if you want to push this guy out of the way, just keep walking into him and he'll move out of the way. Just learn that. Because I've never done it in this order. And of course, I'm still going to have to wait for him because this is the other escort mission that I mentioned where you have to wait for this guy to catch up with you. So that way... Cross the bridge. Thank you so much. This is one of the other escort mission I talked about where you have to wait for the guy to come with you. So that way... You can get to where you need to go. And he moves really slowly. And even though NPCs can't attack him, you still have to deal with things like slowdown. The slowdown is more eminent with this one. All you have to do is have, like, several enemies on the screen. Like, not too many. Like, maybe three? And you'll immediately start experiencing slowdown. Like, I am not happy with that at all. I mean, this is a very early... Super Nintendo game came out like 91, 1990, 1991, so very early into the system's lifespan. But Europe didn't get it until 1993. And by that time, Legend of Zelda had already came out, and there were other games like Secret of Man on the way. And so this game was eclipsed by everything else that was out there at the time in Europe which didn't really bode well for this game. Anyway, we just returned back to the elf field. And this guy will, will know that we have all three tablets. He teaches us the spell, but we don't have to remember the words. We'll already just use it automatically. Thor will tell you he has something to take care of, and he leaves. And with that spell, we're able to get inside Philip's castle. So I'm going to save my game now, just in case, and then head on down to Philip's castle. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How many, uh, how much more, more, uh, 524 is still not enough. I need 700 for the elixir. Oh, that's harsh. What are you gonna do, though? Anyway, the, as I was saying earlier, the fireball makes quick work of these uh, spider or beetle enemies, or whatever it is you want to call them. But you still want to learn to fight with your sword because there are enemies that magic does not work on. And we'll be seeing like at least one of them in Philip's castle. Also, I managed to make it a level 7, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back to Philip's castle here. Let's see if there's anything else that I need. Nope. Okay. There's nothing that I need in Philip, outside of Philip's castle. So let's just go ahead, follow the path, and head down the, into the castle itself. And instead of going to the left, we just go straight up this time. We are actually at the castle. Just go up to the door, Nasir will automatically use the spell, and it will open the door. Nash, you've taken care of an invisible plot wall. And now we have this expansive castle to deal with. And we're going to have to do a little bit of running around. And if you couldn't already tell, the fireball did not work on that night. You will have to fight him with your sword. He is fairly fast, and he does follow you around, kind of like the skeletons in the gold cave, but thankfully, you don't need as much patience to kill these guys. 
I want to go to the right and then go up a few doors here. Because there's some gold that I do want to get. Now, the fireball does work on these guys. Though you can fight them with your sword if you wish. Either because you feel like it or if you want to save up on magic points. Yeah, these guys move like the skeletons or the rather like the bugs with one eye on the uh, elf field. And we have a treasure box here. I believe this gives us 200. 200 gold. So what are we looking at for gold here? Alright, we are at 759. So we have enough gold to get the elixir. So I'm going to get the elixir and be right back. Don't go away. Well, technically you couldn't go away because this would all have been edited down in an instant. So, yeah, welcome back. We're getting close to the 30 minute mark pre-editing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the rest of this video showing you where everything else is on this entry level of Philip's Castle. What to look for first? Well, we can go back to where we started and go a little bit north and go we need to go to get another piece of armor. Yes, there is more armor. We're going to need it. Matter of fact, there's actually two things that we need. And the first one, well, after we take care of this knight, is going to be to the right of here. And I'm getting so much better at striking stuff with my sword now. How am I doing? Getting pretty close to level 8. Alright. I'm going to fight this guy because I can. Come here. Uh, I'm gonna have to use my magic on these guys because they're so fast. Hate that. Ugh. This is what I mean by having to wait longer and longer to heal up as I get further and further into the game. I mean, see how much the time that took. That wasn't fun. And then once you get really strong, you may have to wait like up to two minutes. Anyway, I believe you want to go through this door right here. Yeah, you want to go through this door right here and just keep going up. And here is another or there's there's this guy. Thankfully, he didn't give me a hard time. Also, I am now at level 8. How about that? Nice. And we have this treasure chest. Is there any more enemies? No. Good. Inside is a key prison. We're going to need that as we go further down. So we've got the key of prison. That's one of the two things we have left to find in this floor of Philip's castle. Which means that the other thing I'm going to get is the moon armor. Which is stronger than the bandit armor that we have now. And I just fought that guy because I could. Okay, once we go here, we're going to have the move left. Until we find this door. And we're going to have to keep following the path here. There will be a few knights to fight, but nothing we can't handle. It's not like the big ones that move super fast and can actually be hit by the fireballs. At least you can hit them with the fireballs. Because they are fast and they can tear you up if you're not careful. And getting the timing down when facing the top or bottom of the screen while finding enemies, that does take a little bit of patience. Sometimes I still can't get it. And we took and care of another one of those guys. Is there an... Yeah, there's another one. Get away from me. Oh, now you want to stop chasing me. Well, you won't be chasing me anymore. There's a doorway right here, in case you can't tell. Especially since I'm going down. 
there's a chest here and inside is the gold armor can't believe I called it moon armor earlier it's the gold armor you don't get the moon armor until near the end of the game so now then you just go to armor press right and not only get 15 more defense but Nasir's appearance changes they actually give you different color armor and cape depending on what you're wearing you actually have a blue cape now now that's pretty nice anyway we're now hitting the 30 minute mark prior to editing and since we found everything that can be found in the entry level of Phillips Castle I believe now would be a good time to end the video so Join me next time where I go further down Phillips Castle and try to free those people who got trapped. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!